Simon. Thank you so much for tuning in to Courtney Explains It All. Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to the Courtney Explains It All. Um, so today, I, I'm going to interview Nick. And, um, Hi, everybody. I'm Nick. <laughs> Need the instruction. And uh, we were, he's uh, part of our self-advocacy group, Speak Up, and uh, we were going to talk about um, Disability Employment Awareness Month. And um, so basically what that is, is that... Um, it's, it celebrates the value and talents of people with disabilities and well, you know what we bring to the workplace and the economy and it started back in 1945 so um, I thought that was pretty neat and um, so I just wanted to ask you Nick um, yep. why why is uh, Disability Employment Awareness Month important to you? It's important to me because I have a lot of friends that are disability and I like to be able to think of them as my family in the community and all that and be able to help communicate with them. Mm. And also, not only are they my friends' family, I like to make sure that, that everyone else, if they're watching this on the air, I want to know that not only is family and friends, you know, like in a real family, like a immediate family thing. So it's kind of important to me that everyone gets a chance to have a a slice of the action, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. It's pretty different. Like, everybody has, yeah. like, equal opportunity. Exactly right. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to ask, um, what are some of, like, the different jobs that you've had? Oh, different jobs that I've had. I've had a different job at McDonald's, where I was there for a while, and then at Kayvac a while back, and then one at Miami Oxford University. Okay, did you, what kind of, like, did you clean there, did you? Uh, at Oxford and Miami University, I did clean, like, the students' rooms and their bathrooms and stuff. about a knock first, of mm -hmm. course, to know. You need yeah. no bail. It was kind of tough on those levels of that job, but it was worth the experience stuff. Yeah, I, I had to clean, too. I I did that yeah. when I was younger. I cleaned it. Um, it's hard to clean some of those stuff, I'm like, Whoa, the mirrors were so big that I'm like, what the heck is the size of the mirror? Why did they have a big mirror? Yeah, I, I did that at Kim Campbell Garden Barn and Bunk, and that was really hard. Mm -hmm. I had to clean the toilets and the mirrors. It was very hard. I agree. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. So, um, where do you work now, and how long have you worked there? <laughs> My new job at Tenant Packaging Corporation Pack. Then when there's that title, I, this is now Ten Solutions. Uh, I've been there, the, I've been there for about six and a half years almost. Wow! One of the best changes I've ever made for this, this life of mine is going real well. They treat me good, always paying the money and all that stuff. That's great. I love that. Uh, so do I. But who doesn't like to you know get where we get where like sometimes on holidays also they give like like free food trucks on holidays, so it's pretty nice. Nice. So I didn't, well, I did want to point that out for a few, if they're interested out there, if they want a good place to go, mm -hmm. it's definitely a good place to go, but also other people can, you know, see if they want to go somewhere else, it's their decision, not force anyone to do it, but you know, just a little requirement and stuff. Yeah, they, they can decide if they want to Yeah, go exactly, there. just recommendation is all. Mm-hmm. Yep. So what, what do you enjoy about working there? What do I enjoy about working there? Having to work with good friends, good people, uh, working with, uh, how to explain this, uh, working with other people that don't, like, you know, that aren't only my friends, but like, bosses and stuff. It's a pretty awesome place. That's great. Mm -hmm. So you feel like you made a lot of friends through work? Made a lot of friends through work, made of people, met, met a lot of people that I never thought I would get along with, but then have did in the past. And it really feels like a big open community out there. It really changed a lot. That's good. Perspective. So since you um, have met a lot of friends and stuff at your work, um, 
Do do your coworkers help you, or do you have a job coach? Oh, we have a job coach, but she comes in every once a couple of weeks to help check in on us. And we actually got a new guy in coming in. There were like six, I think, of us originally, and the new guy is seven, and he's he's doing great. Mm. And we just needed he can do lips, and he can work with us, and he's like fast paced, like boom, done minding on it. That's really he's great. Good. He's really fast paced. Not like I can keep up, but he's good. <laughs> so um, I wanted to ask. Mm -hmm. Um, back when I was looking for a job, I had to mm -hmm. um practice questions that manager might yep. ask me. Um, so did you do that as well? I did ask for interviews in the past, like when I had to, like I had to do that in the past with the McDonald's and all those other jobs. Yes, but this one. I didn't have that interview. It was like kind of different, and I'm like, oh gosh, it was so different. It was so different. They didn't just do the interview. I'm like, hmm, just huh. got lucky. Okay. Not so going to interview. It was weird. So how did how did that work? Like, did they show you like what you? They showed doing? me what we would be doing, and it was basically like first day training almost, and huh. they took the requirement skills I guess I had in their stuff, and through guess I got lucky enough. That I didn't have to go to their interview. It's just. One of those things that didn't make sense, but then it does kind of. Yeah, because then they could see like what yeah. you, what you were good at and and your skills and stuff. Yes, like, thank you. In the training. And, yep, definitely. Um. So you mentioned you talked a little bit about this earlier, but um, mm -hmm. could you mention like what what do you think some of the benefits of working mm -hmm. are? Definitely having a little bit of money in the paycheck. Not that I'm guilty of that, but also making friends, uh, getting out of the house every day so I don't get bored of my video room. Because <laughs> I, I will be guilty of this. I'm playing video games a lot, and I don't like to get bored and just... <laughs> That'd be yeah, terrible. I'm the same way. Like so, I, yeah. I like to be able to get out and do things. And do I don't want to just yeah. be sitting at home all the time. I, I agree. It'd be, <laughs> it'd be boring every 24 7 and everyone did. <laughs> Sorry. I do enjoy so playing to, video games. That was I love video games fun. too. It is fun, but not to the extent where you lose your insanity. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, I know you said, uh, Friends, friendship is important to you and mm -hmm. like being there for somebody so if somebody um, mm -hmm. like a friend came to you and wanted uh, mm -hmm. to get a job or somebody else that you knew with a disability wanted to get a job like mm -hmm. what would what advice would you give to them I'll give them this advice right here is what helped me get I don't know if I'm not sure it works for everyone but definitely be true with always ask questions if you don't know what's going on but like it's okay to always you know just check the interview look them in the eye yeah where do you see yourself in five years okay to be honest i see myself still working there as possible maybe five years i'll be up in the standards where i can become a uh like jared like maybe see myself as jared as a line leader and i could help him out with stuff they can learn in the past, in the beyond years ever helping him out get the not trying to forklift or anything but like being able to be like a second line lead for the group and that, that way they Jared will have to do everything by himself hmm. and that way I can help out kind of more yeah that'd be good to have so that's what I see myself in five years or to see myself progress more maybe to get to more different jobs in the company and that way we can get more stuff done i don't know mm, yeah so this is one of those things i've been warning warning myself too but that's why i see myself for all years who do you look up to who's the person that's a role model role model for me was always different to each person it was really like <laughs> who looked up to was hulk hogan obviously and as a positive guy and kind of some of people like uh I don't know how to say this. It's kind of weird, but um, singers like uh, Backstreet Boys, people that are positive in the younger days, but stuff like that. Uh, BC Boys bit, a little bit maybe of um, uh, Britney Spears, one of them, a couple other people that really were positive back then and just, you know, don't know if they dipped down, but they just never gave up, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's a good quality to have is 
to not give up no matter what. That's exactly what I think. This is a good idea of equality to have to never give up and to be true to yourself. Mm -hmm. So, uh, thank you for coming today. I really appreciate it. Um, is there anything else that you wanted to mention? <clears throat> Maybe a little bit, but not too much. Um, always remember that. Just be yourself and just to just have fun while you can and even though it's work sometimes we do have fun at work but sometimes you'll actually enjoy a job if you know no job a long time mm -hmm. so that's my advice and to keep it real and I'm glad I've been here yeah I'm glad you got to come I, like I said I really appreciate <laughs> you coming thank you Courtney I'm glad you came too bud <laughs> Thanks for watching Courtney Explains It All. And remember, nothing about us without us. Loveland Magazine TV videos are brought to you by the generous support of MoveToLoveland.com. Please like and subscribe to the Loveland Magazine YouTube channel so you never miss a new video.